Remember that marriage is sex and sex is marriage, and that's the only certificate that you really need between you and the Most High. What the GOV has done is they've come alongside as a third party, and they're like, hey, sign this contract so we can sit at the table with you and your wife. You can make some money off of you before, during, and then after the divorce. We know that it's a 60 or 80% divorce rate right now. We know that all of these people in the legal system are in cahoots against you. We know that they're profiting off of you. And they're using the information that's been forgotten, the legal information, the sovereign information, against you. And they're profiting from the information of the prophets. Because the kings and the sovereigns of the earth gather together against the sovereign also to break his bands and his Moshiach, his Messiah, his Messiahs equals the heart of the child, the kingdom, right? That's what they're seeking to take. Herod takes the kingdom, you pay Caesar to be part of a fake kingdom that doesn't exist. Where in the Bible does it say that you need a license from the state to get married, to consummate a marriage? Back in the day, they would take that white towel after they had consummated, and they would show the bloodied white towel to the entire village. That would be their license marriage certificate. The proof is in the pudding. But what have they done? They took that beautiful white, red, ragged robe, they turned it into a contract or a piece of paper that you and your wife have to sign. Remember, the world is paying Caesar and the world is deceived, Matthew 24, 24. We should not be doing this, guys. Because what we're doing is we're selling the futures, which equals our seed, which equals our children. Then they're born into this marriage and they have to get a, what you might call a birth certificate, as they will break their bonds. Psalms 2, 3. Not only will they break your bonds, but they want to break all of the or future generational bonds as well, your children. Right? They want to get you in the system nice and early. Make sure you get that birth certificate for that child, even though it's not really necessary at all. It doesn't do one thing, but give the GOV a number on your child that they will have forever. But anyways, remember, you have the decision. You know, are you going to fall victim to the marriage fraud scandal? Or are you going to remember that everything that we need to do is already laid out inside of this book. Right, so if we're not going to get married or be a part of the system, what is the outcome of not being a part of the system? Because eventually we have to come face to face with what they've done to our bonds.